Welcome to Home Cinema and Tech Channel. In this video, I'll be showing you an angle problem and a spec that you need to have in your projector. Let me just show you. This projector is just angled around 5 to 10 degrees, maybe even slightly more like 12 degrees. Let's just take a look at the top. This is not straight. The reason behind it, as you can see, there is a huge column over there and I will walk just if you haven't watched my previous videos here is the screen and here is the place of the projector let me just walk through so I will be looking at the screen this is basically in the middle of the column here you can see right now I am in the middle of the column not in the projector place so I cannot drew a hole on a building's column it's not safe so i cannot place my projector here nor i can place it at top to the ceiling let's take a look at the fixture of light so if i put it up and project down below which is quite good if you ask me but i can't because of this fixture fixture so this is the only place that i can put with an angle like 10 to 12 degrees so let me just close the lights and show you what settings you should be having with your projector here on the edge of the screen let me just open the iso here you see a light leak and the actual visual around here this is a 4k from android uh, sorry google tv so uh, if i look up you also see a line going around our visual and also this light leak also goes to the right from the left of the screen let me just go up and as you can see here is our uh, projector screen but you see the gap you can see the gap right on the left it's quite much like it's 20 25 centimeters it's very very big difference so when i go on to the right just let me take a shot yeah you don't see too much of that leak because on the right it's okay but on the left it's not it's going to get bigger so what do you see here i'm going to go back what do you see here and let me just close the iso the visual quality is good but why do we see that leak because actually our projector just projects around the edge the light the true visual of the projector so we only skew or stretch our visual digitally so the optically lights are going around much more than our visual screen after the correction so what I am talking about is the projector settings let's go around here you should definitely have a projector setting called four point keystone correction let me just show you rather than just talk about it in a long term geometric correction and we have four corners at the top and i will reset so you see true image that is projected to the screen reset yes and here we go you can go before and after if you like but our visual is right now angled very much so if you have a cheap projector let me just go to the same menu if you have cheap projector sorry yeah if you bought a cheap projector or simple menu projector you either have horizontal or vertical keystone corrections so what that does you project from up top or below like general use from a ceiling or from a, a tabletop or something so you go for one angle horizontal is most of the time vertical is the issue but when we go horizontal let's look what happens i can correct the image by screwing on the left so it is nearly corrected but the image size is much less than expected and what i've shown you in the beginning of the video if i had only these settings in my 
projector. Let me just show you the alternative version. Geometric correction again. I will reset it and screen will be size, uh, leaving a size increase. Let's just reset it. Just take a good look at this and this. It's also resized. Very big screen, right? Very bigger. Probably 20, 25 centimeters. So if I go four corner correction, if I choose left, top left, and if I just go down, I can make the flat top. And I think the screen is quite enough, but let's just go one down. And also, if I go right bottom, choose it, and I'm sorry, this is kind of like okay. Since this is a demonstration video, I don't think that we need to do something extra. But here is the catch. We didn't lose that much of a screen. This is the first thing that I showed you. And if I go back to the same menu of geometric correction, you have to have a long distance of tunes, like either for four corners or the keystone. Let me just show you because of the four corner keystone is the most important setting settings that you can find if you are going to project with an angle, if you have to have an angle and if you at least when you travel have an angle let me just show you i clicked on the top right corner and how we can correct it it's not going to be just only ups and downs i can only i can go in too let's just look at this how i am distorting the video so it's a great thing to have and the optimal uhd 35 has a lot way to go so if you choose a projector just know before you buy how much correction it can handle if you need any correction at all. I suggest that you find the perfect angle as, as much as you can to not to have light leak around your screen because it's important and it's also distracting you. So if you don't want any light leaks around the screen, because some people it's quite a big problem and you should be having these settings. By the way, the horizontal or vertical corrections are not also small with the Optima UHD 35. I will show it to you, but not every projector has the same level of distortion or correction, I might say. Let's just take a look at it again, and I'll be going uh, correct geometric correction. I will go vertical keystone this time, and I will be, as you can see, just rotating or screen my digitally visual right now as you can see the actual optical light is very deep in a very different position we have a huge light around here and why what i mean by here it's 40 centimeters a range of light let me just go with an angle so make it make it a little bit looking like yes if i increase the iso level yes you see there is a huge difference from here to actual visual. So if you want to correct your videos and if you watch, if you want to watch big screen with your projector, you definitely have to have a screen correction in any way. In this video, we have talked about the four point uh, correction, image correction. I will also reset it again while we are talking. So be f make sure before you purchase a projector to have good image correction capabilities because I think this is the most important part. And if you are thinking about the light leak and, and if it's going to distract you from viewing the videos that you, you know, watch, definitely put your projector in a perfect placement just straight to your screen. But if you can't, use your keystone corrections. By the way, the many of the digital uh, projectors like LED models or laser models have poor point keystone correction because they are next generation. But many of the bulb model projectors, if they are entry level, they don't have four point keystone correction. They only have 
a horizontal or vertical keystone like this. But some projectors like Optima UHD35 here has also warp function. If you have a detailed warp function, then you can project to a curved wall too or a curved surface that you created like a screen to project. So keep that in mind before you purchase a projector. Make sure that you have enough correction uh, that you can get away in a good manner. I hope this video gave you enough information about four point key correction and I will shoot a photo to show you much more in detail and you'll probably see in the thumbnail what kind of a light leak that you can have if you don't uh, have the perfect projector placements. I am okay with it. I'm not just thinking always, hey, I have a light leak, I have a light leak kind of thing in my head. But it's good to have a perfect lighting setup, perfect angle, if you ever can create at your home or cinema setup. Hope this video gave you enough idea and let me know what you think about our videos and direct the channel about informational videos, what you would like to see in the next couple of videos. Hope to see you in the next video, home cinema and tech review. Bye.